What's up, y'all? Shit, I'm sitting here at work. It's your big homie. Hey, I just had an idea. Y'all know we on this quarantine shit, though, right? I call it being on punishment. But it's one funny thing about being on punishment is you don't get to go out, right? I mean, you go to work, come home. You ain't at the club. You ain't at no restaurants or nothing. You at the crib. Is it me? Am I the only one looked at your account? I ain't talking about no stimulus check. Am I the only one looked at their bank account like, damn, there's a little too many zeros in that motherfucker. Think about how much money we save. Maybe we should get put on punishment a lot more, because I said, God damn. A nigga got a little change. Nope, you can't get along. I said, a nigga got a little change, not you. But think about how much money you didn't save by just being at the crib. Unless you're one of them people that's calling Do DoorDash and cooking, you know, eating out still. But I cook at the crib. I buy groceries, you know what I need. You know, I ain't trying to stump for nobody. But saving a lot of money being at the crib, though, real talk. You know, you ain't went out and bought no outfits or nothing. If you ain't online shopping and stuff, just keeping your bread. Stacking that chip, you know, paying your little bills, but stacking your chips. <sighs> yeah, this some good shit here. I need to put myself on punishment a lot. Shit, I'm going to start quarantining myself because um, you ain't spending no money. You just saving. And I always told people, it's about saving. It ain't, you know, people kill me because I got friends. You know, I'm not dissing nobody. First thing they want to tell you, man, you know, I make a hundred something thousand dollars a year. I'm grateful that you're making that bread. But if you make a hundred some thousand dollars a year and you spend a hundred some thousand dollars a year, you broke. Who the what's up, Miss Jackson? Hey that Linda. You know, what I'm saying is we gotta save some money. You know what I'm saying? If you watch me closely, I spend money on stuff that I could reinvest in me. I don't stunt no more like I used to. You know, I just started saving. Because what happened if a pandemic like just hit and you ain't got no money in savings? Now you're going to food pantries and ain't nothing wrong with going to food pantries. Because, no, I'm a brother from the hood. We didn't been to some pantries. You know, but it's a blessing when you don't have to go. You know, and we just learn to save some more. And like I said, what I just said before, if you make a, say you make a $150,000 a year, or let's say 100000 You should learn how to live off at least sixty. If you could save 20000 a year, 40000 just put it in savings so you can have something when times get hard. Or not, let me say, let me not say that because everybody be like, well, times don't be getting hard. Not if times hit hard. Say you got some money in savings and you want to live. Like you just want to go on a trip or somewhere. You want to fly out the country or fly out the town or go to the next town. You'd be like, I got some money in savings. I could just go do that. But if you spend it every quarter you make, you working backwards. You're supposed to work to be able to enjoy. And I don't mean spend every dime like, you know, these rap songs got to, ah, spend a check and get one right back. No, it ain't supposed to be like that. We got to get out of the habit of living from check to check. We got to put some, what was that? All right, I see y'all. I see everybody. Y'all know I can't see worse shit. I need my, my glasses. I can't see worse shit. But let's get back to it. We got to learn how to save money so we can do some things. Because I got a habit, you know, when I go out of town, people be like, that nigga be doing too much. It don't be when I, be, I don't be doing too much. I already say something. Like, if I ask a young lady, and somebody say I'm lying, just tell me. I'd be like, look, you want to go out of town with me? She'd be like, yeah, what I got to bring? I'd be like, clean panties. They'd be like, what you mean? I'd be like, no, nah, just bring your clothes. I got everything. Not that I'm a ball or nothing, but I got something in savings. I, I plan for them trips. So when I take a young lady out with me, I got it. She ain't got to worry about nothing. And the same thing, ladies, when you ask a man out, a real man out, let me tell you what's going to happen. He gonna, he gonna agree to let you take him out. But when y'all get to that bill coming, cause I had some women take me out, friends and other people, I still throw my credit card up. Like girls, I ain't worried about you. 
I got this. I know you invited me out, but I got this. And if anybody say I'm lying, I'll wait. I'll straight wait. Go on my live. Go on here and tell me I'm lying. Because I'll wait. When we go out of town, I got them. When I'm out of town, I got everything. Not that I'm a baller, no, but I save. And that's what I mean. When you're making this money, save this money. And this should be a time when we're on quarantine when we should really think about what we want to do with life. Like, people like, oh, I want this job. Well, I don't like doing that job because I don't like that shit. You better get out of that mindset. You better figure out what pays some bills while you can put some money in your say, I got about eight companies. Some of the companies I don't even like the work I do, but I like the paycheck. See, the paycheck allowed me to live the lifestyle that I want to live. So I get the bread. Even though I don't like doing it, but I get the bread and I go live the way I want to live. Real shit. Because everything you ain't going to like to do. We learned that growing up, shit. Mama say, go clean up your room. You're like, shit, man, I don't like cleaning up the room. But you had to do it. Because you wanted that allowance or you didn't want to get your ass whooped. Let's, let's keep it real. So let's save. Save some bread. If you make $30,000 a year, you know, you should be able to put five or $10,000 up somewhere. You know, you ain't got to save all your money. Just have something in, in the savings account in case you want to do something, not in case somebody else want to do something. Because it's a great feeling when you can say, hey, let's go here. And the people, other people be like, well, um, I can't. I didn't ask you if you could afford it. I said, let's go. That's what I'm saying. You want to be that person. You, man, I, don't, I feel so passionate about this. I don't even know what else to say. You know what I'm saying? I just... What's up, Miss Washington? Hey there. But I'm just saying, we, we got to learn how to save. And I know people got small businesses. You got to put some money aside. Just put something aside. You know, so you can do what you want to do. And not what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? You can do what you want to do and not what you have to do. You ain't got to accept that $40. <laughs> I'm tripping. But y'all know, ladies, niggas be trying to get y'all $40. You ain't got to accept that. If you got your own bread. And I'm going to tell you ladies something that I'm going to tell people. Yes, I do. I'll tell you all this. Ain't nothing like having your own bread. When you got your own bread and a man could see that you don't need him, but he, but you want him, he going to treat you a whole lot different. Real shit. But if you need a nigga, he going to treat you the way you don't want to be treated. It might be all smiling and fun. In the beginning, because he trying to get something up out you. But once he got you in that situation where you feel like you need him, it's going to be a problem. But if you keep your, your bread up, getting your own bread where you don't need him, but you want him, it's some real shit. And I'm going to tell y'all, people be like, well, you only mess around with chicks who got money. It ain't that. I mess around with chicks who like me, number one, first, because I know I'm a little bit on the ugly side. I keep it 100. But... The women who I mess around with got their own bread. Not that I need their bread. It's that you can afford a certain shit or you could do you. And I'm not saying be on my level because some of them above me. But if you could take care of you, because that's all you got to do is be able to take care of you. Now, I can come and enhance that. But you don't need me. You might just want me, but you don't need me. And if you don't need me, then you want me. Shit, I want to be wanted. Just like y'all women, y'all want to be wanted, but you don't want no nigga who needs you. Oh, I need her because she got a crib. I need her because she going to let me use her car. Or she could do this for me. She, you don't want nobody who needs you. You want somebody who want to be with you just because it's you. You know what I mean? But I am at work, y'all. I just had this on me because your boy want to do something big this year. And I was like, thank God. That the mama and daddies and uncles, you know, people in my family did what they did. Because I used to go to my Uncle Rich, be like, hey, uh, I need some money. He go in his pocket, bow, got it. My cousin Reno, my granddaddy, all the men in my family always had money. Because they saved some money. So I want to do something big for me. Not for nobody else, for me. And then I looked at my account and I was like, nigga, don't do it. What you waiting on? So... I'm feeling blessed because I can bless myself. You know what I mean? And I want everybody else to be able to bless themselves like that. Say something. Don't spend everything. Don't live paycheck for paycheck. And what I mean by that is 
Sometimes you can't eat crab legs every day. You can't go to the restaurant every day. Cook some, save some food. You know, figure out what's in your house, what you need and what you don't need. Because there's a lot of things people don't understand. What we want and what we need is two different things. So think about maybe you don't get three outfits this pay period. You put some of that money in a savings account so when you get ready to do something, you can go ahead and do it. And you ain't got to ask nobody for no help. Because me, I don't know about you, but I know about me. I don't like asking people for help, real shit. I don't. I just like to get it. If I had to get my back up against the wall, I'm going to get it. Just like one of my friends told me, big up my friend Q-Tessa Matt. She said, pressure push me. And I had to think about what she said. She said, pressure push me. So when my back, I'm, I'm going to get to you. When my back up against the wall, I come out swinging. Real shit. Pressure do push you. You know what I'm saying? When, when you ain't got no other choice but to get up, you've been down so long, you ain't got no other choice but to get up. So pressure do push you. I got to make that into a t-shirt. But yeah, she told me that, and I was like, you know what, girl? I love you for that. And some people be taking that. Let me just say that word, love, real shit. Because I be telling my female friends that a lot. Because I got 80% of female friends. So I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. And I always be telling my friends. I be like, girl, you know I love you. And sometimes people outside hear it wrong. They think I love them for our sexual, but I love them because they keep it 100 for me. They ain't no yes man in me. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no yes person. When I'm wrong, my friends tell me I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Just like I do for them. You know, and, and we could generally have a general love for each other. You know what I'm saying? So when you got good friends in your corner, don't be scared to tell them you love them. Real shit, because I love my friends like they my family. You know what I'm saying? I got, man, I go down there through there for my friends, real shit. Niggas be like, man, you, you doing all that for her, nigga? Y'all fucking, be like, no, that's my friend. No, I got love for her. And some of my male friends, too. I be like, man, I love that nigga. Not that I'm gay or nothing, you know, but hey, we, we ride for each other. You know, I got real friends, you know what I'm saying? I know people like, I don't got no friends. I just got associates. Well, I don't got no associates. I ain't close. Look. We designed to have companionship. I got friends, real shit. They can come, we could break bread or whatever. We, we good, we don't, it ain't if I'm up or they up, because far as I'm concerned, if they down, I'm down. If they up, I'm up. You know what I'm saying, real shit. What up, Jigs? Hey, y'all, got my niece on here, Jigs. I'm so proud of that girl, because I be having these real conversations with my family, too. And I swear, that girl, Jigs, she be listening to her unk. She be like, unk, you be one honey. Look crazy, but you be one honey. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm out here. I'm saying, pressure push me. Save some money. If you making bread, put something aside so you could do you. You know, you ain't got to ask nobody for no help. You could just do you. You could just get up and be like, hey, time for me to make a move. And I'm going to make that move. Real shit. All right, y'all, because this has been kind of a long video. I can't really see. I see just like seven people on here. You know, I love everybody. So, hey, Darcy, what's up, black man? Hey, my number is on Facebook, bro. You know, we've been down through the trenches. I just want to hear your voice, Darcy. Call me, man. Call me. Don't call me through Facebook. My phone number is on Facebook. Call me so we can say what's up, man. I want to see how you doing. All right. I got to go, y'all. Love y'all.